In this fifth tutorial, I'll talk about how to use the selection tools in GIMP. Selection tools are the best way to get the parts of the image you need for cropping, cutting, and more. Once again, we have our image ready in GIMP, so we can use a myriad of selection tools on it. There are at least seven selection tools in GIMP. We'll go over each one in basic detail. Each one has tool options, the panel below the tool on the left that you can tweak the settings for. First is your usual rectangular selection. Just like our Photoshop tutorial, just click and drag what you want to select here. Similarly, the oval selection tool next to it can be used to select things in a circular or oval pattern. Next we have the free select or lasso tool where you can draw your own selection around an object so you can freehand trace the selection you need to. After that we have the fuzzy select tool which, much like the magic wand in Photoshop, will select a region based on the colors around it. This one can take longer than usual to select something. You can tweak the settings in the tool options box to change the thresholds that the wand will select what you want from the image. Threshold means it will select more or less things based on the higher or lower the threshold. Then we have the select by color tool, which will select things on the image based on the color you have in the foreground color box, which is seen below the tool window. Then you have the scissors select tool, which will attempt to select things based on detecting edges on the image. As you start clicking around the edge of the thing that you want to select, it will guess where it thinks the edges of the image are. And you can guide the points of the selection so that the program can figure out where the edges of the thing you're selecting is. This is by far one of the most intelligent tools you can use in GIMP. Lastly, we have the foreground select tool, which you'll start with a lasso around the thing you want to select. Once you've selected part of the image, it will create a blue mask over the image. Then you'll be able to mark what you want the selection to pick up out of the image. It'll be the best tool to select things that are in the foreground as opposed to the background. It's really great for photos. That's most of the selection tools covered in GIMP. Now you can grab exactly what you need out of the images you're using.